Hi, everyone. Well, welcome to my program again today. I'm busy, Christian. Today, I want to discuss palliative, the less privilege, and the suffering masses. The only law of my religion is love your brethren as I love I saw when I was reading through my Bible depart ye from me ye workers of iniquity go and partake in hell with devil and why because I am hungry and you feed me not. And when the person was asking Jesus, when did I see you hungry and refused to feed you? When did I see you? Jesus said, because you refused to do this to one person, by your side, you refuse to do it to me too. So when Jesus say, Help me, there is no Jesus in this world. The person Jesus is referring to is that poor person by your side. It is good to blame everything on government. But what are you doing as a person? What are you doing as a community? What are you doing as a religious body to help the masses? To help the people by your side? People dying of hunger. Why you are feeding fat in your own corner? Yes. I'm not saying you should not blame Tinobu as the president. Nor did I say you should not blame Abraman as governor. I'm not saying you should not blame me as a politician, but as a human being that has a responsibility to your God. What is your own duty? What are you doing to help people in this situation? Agree, all politicians are thieves and wicked. Are all pastor, imam, chief, king, rich men also thieves and wicked? Then, if all the pastor, the imams, the chief, the community leaders are good, and it is only the politicians that are bad, let these people go out to help the hungry masses by their side. Abuse me as much as you like, but you are a candidate of hell if you are feeding fat and you see someone suffering by your side. And why, why did I come to this topic? Yes, 2,000 bag of rice was released to individual states. 2,000 each, or I see 3,000. They said to the less privileged, and everybody is fighting to get it. You, that you can feed your family comfortably, you went home with 10 kg out of this. You are evil. You don't know how to share it because you are greedy. That 10 kg that reach your community, just 10 kg to go in 2 2 kg to the five less privileged among you if you are not greedy, wicked, and heartless.
Yes, blame Tinubu that give 2,000 back instead of giving 20,000 back. But know that you are evil. If in your community you are not able to locate one or two people who you know that 10 kg of rice can help. That is what make me remind you the law of Christ. That you will go to hell for not feeding somebody who is hungry when you have the power. You may say you are a Muslim. Thank you. Quran said you should believe in Yiza. So that is the rule of Yiza if you don't know. If you fail to feed the poor, poor people, sick person by your side who is dying of hunger and you are feeding fire. You are a candidate of hell. So, I am today not talking politics. I'm talking reality. I'm talking humanity. It is wickedness if 10 bag of rice get to a community. And that 10 bag of rice cannot help just 10 households. Who you know are really suffering. I am this Christian. This is her for the truth. And I am telling you that if the process of sharing of that 10 bag of rice is in two cups in your community, you are one of the problem of Nigeria. And the politician, you are causing an abuse, are better than you. You are greedy. You are self-centered. You never consider. You don't have art for the poor. So, why blame the politician? When those politicians you are talking about cannot be better than you. Thank you and God bless you as a Christian. I'm basically Christian again, saying you can feed your family comfortably. You went home with 10 kg out of 2,000 bag of rice released to to the less privilege. You are evil. To help the poor is a direct from God. And you are guilty if you fail to do that before God and before man. See you again on our program, How for the Truth. I'm basically.